Welcome to I Love Stocks PD. After Market Report with Vegas and Jim, supporting traders globally and achieving their financial security and freedom. Today's date, December 5th, 2019, and we're going to share a few S -E -S. tickers that we were watching today. Miss Vegas? Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Hope you had a great trading day. So I'm definitely going to talk to you guys about Lululemon, Alibaba, and Tesla. And right, let's get right to it because Lululemon, as you guys know, I love it. A uh, fantastic Canadian company, and they have their earnings next week. And you know what? I was reading an article that uh, Lou Lemon could actually be the next Nike, and that was a comment made by Cohen. Um, they actually had mentioned that uh, Nike uh, provided a map for Lou Lemon to reach a 40 million valuation, and they're saying that assuming SLS. that Lou Lemon can sustain VIPs. a Nike-like free cash flow multiple. That they see a path for this to become a forty million cap. As a matter of fact, Lululemon's rating and target on the stock. ZM. I can't believe what I'm going to tell you guys. MLS is not surprised. Has been raised to two hundred and fifty dollars, based on ecom momentum, as well as growth in the company's menswear and international divisions. Uh, and if you guys take a look at the Lululemon chart, which Jim will talk about, the stock has surged 85% this year and has out has been outpacing the S&P 500's 24% rise. So you want to talk about a stock that's had for a long-term investment, Lululemon's a fantastic stock. And uh, Jim can show you there, we took some option contracts yesterday. CDNS. The 227.50 calls. Um, they were $1.30 each, which is a $130 investment. And today went as high as 359. So people made over 100%. Uh, a lot of people sold them today. Um, and then we took some lottos Stack. for tomorrow IBM. for the 335 calls at $17 a contract. So we'll see if there's going to be a continuation tomorrow on Lululemon. Our Let's hear about this beautiful chart. We've been bullish on Lululemon from $100, $110.71. We called this out at the first of last year. After the big crash during the December months, and I'll pull up three-year chart and show you what I'm talking about here. SPNE RTLR. There it is. So yeah, we had this crash back during right before the 2018, and it okay. dropped to 110, 111 dollars. So we called this baby out. It did have a high up around 163, and pulled back. So all this year, it's been nothing but an uphill climb. Snugging up on that nine EMA on a yearly, daily. Nat. This is a weekly chart here, but let me pull up the yearly. Kind of. Well, that ain't it either. There we go. See how it kind Turn. of touched down, run up all along with that nine EMA, touching down on the 34, only touching that 200 one time, and that was at the beginning of last year at 110. 71 so yeah um, this is a great stock one one to watch we're going to pull up 20 day get a better look at it to try to find a support level y -E -X -T. i have a support level at 225.81 we bounced off that yesterday we actually went below that and today we broke out of that five day resistance as you can see we had an upward wedge with lower highs and higher highs and it kind of squeezed out Pulled back and hit that Matt. 34, and then bam, the day she ran on up to 3099 after hours. I think earnings are going to be excellent myself. I mean, they're, we're talking about billions YBR. of dollars, and we're going to pull up the daily one minute. So, support DWX. level. We're going to probably call it off this 200 if it pulls back tomorrow. If it dips Jag. down below that, and you could get like a, a knife on it when the earnings come out next week and then a, a fast bounce back up but your first support on the stock is going to be right here at 229.56 that's where i want it to hold if not we're going to touch down here to this ascending triangle upward wedge pattern where we had lower highs and higher highs and then we kind of consolidated with an ascending triangle right in here as you can see, see that right there we had that triple top and bam she broke out of that triple top right there and then she pulled back to that support level, which was that resistance line at 
So that's going to be our solid support. IIPR. And then resistance that we got to break is going to be right here at 229.20. And we did that after hours. We're at 230.99. And we're going to pull this up. So the next FRPG. resistance is, you know, we just have to kind of, kind of wing it from here on out. I think this is an all-time highs. So I guess we can take it in 50 cent and OKTA, dollar intervals. MDLA, I would look at CSX. It. But I do believe that it can pull back. And let me pull this up. BIMI, day one more LL. time. Right here to this first resistance. And that's going to be 229.56, which now has become support. And that's Lulu. Keep a good eye on it. Any kind of pullback is going to be a buy. PD, KDMN. And the next one we're going to talk about is going to be, I want my BABA. BABA, B-A-B-A. Yes. B -A. So we're going to talk about... BABA, -B -A. and you know what? BABA -B -A had a pullback SES. this week, and we took advantage of the actual dips there. Um, AMSC, EDNT, so we did alert I -M -M the calls on Tuesday morning, and we took the BABA calls at cool. the 195 strike, and um, they were $141 each. But I have to tell you something like, you know, this was rough trading this because yesterday um, these contracts went down. And PBYI. Even this 195 contract at the time was, you know, in the, I forget exactly what number I saw it at, but 10. it was like AXSM. almost half price. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, what's happening here? And then when I looked at the weekly chart, IBM. you know, it was definitely bullish. So it was really kind of like a risk reward. You know, do you close the trade and take that loss CP. or do you hold an extra day? NXTC. So a lot of people, we, you know, Wi -Fi. You know messaging ESTC. and discussing. And I said, you know, the chart's bullish to me. So got to stick to what I see on the, the, you know, the action on the chart. And uh, I'm glad we decided that we're going to probably hold this because today was the day to take that money and not have to close this for any losses. PTON. So, um, this was tough because some people had closed a few TBBK. and then kept a few um, because they didn't want to obviously, you know, cut, you know, hold on. But uh, they were happy that they held some because uh, today they were able to recoup the losses, which is fantastic. So this is a nice move over 300% gains and beautiful uh, action today on BABA the whole day. So Jim, let's hear about this BABA because I think BABA is still bullish ENV. and uh, let's see what it can do for us in the next uh, couple of days. Yeah, we're charting it up right now on the 20 day. Let's look at the yearly and see what it says. I think all I need to really do is look at the 20 day though. But that's the month. There's the year. So we have a double top up CM, here on BABA CLVS. that we broke out this week, and we broke out a little bit of last week. And that resistance level is right around this 295.12 area. You see it had a sharp pullback, EPZM. and then it's kind of had lower highs and higher highs, and then she just kind of pulled back with that lower high right there and bounced on up off that 200. So let's pull up the 20 day. CCC. We got a resistance that we got to break, and that's going to be right up here at 202.50. We got another one right here at 298. You see, we tried to touch that today, ready right to close the $200 level. I think we even got a little hog wild and mentioned that today. INFN. We 200. And we've got another one right here at 199.59. That's what I'm seeing. So we're going to pull this up to the daily one minute. See if I missed anything. I see a support Mover. level right here. I'm seeing a lot of upper wedges and a lot of blow horns are starting to break out. So it's a good sign. I'm seeing a lot of upper MDLA. wedges. Last week it was ascending triangles. I've got one right here. And i got another one right here. So we got a low support down yeah, here at 198.20. I'm going to turn that into a red line. And then I got another one right down. And I've got a couple of them, three real low supports. I don't want to see it go down no lower than 196.53. If its sides come back, your first support is going to be right here at 199.59. CLX 198.81 and then that 198.20 is the one I want to see hold. There is a little channel right in here that it could drop a little bit below that. SWIR right there. So at 198.20 is what I'm looking at on BABA for a low support. 
and the resistance to break is going to be that 298 MRNS. And I want to pull up this yearly chart one more time. I think that was the resistance high. 20250 is going to be our long target. ASLN. 20250. If we can break that double top area right there at 298. And that's going to be Baba. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be Tesla. Tesla got some good news today. Yeah, well, you know what, Tesla, you know, it's one that we love to trade. And I have to say that after hours, we're noticing that Tesla was, you know, there was some action in Tesla. And we're thinking, is there news? Is there news? Is there news? I mean, we all know about the Cybertruck and that, you know, that, you know, there have a lot of orders. I mean, even though the deposits are so cheap, $100 deposit. But nevertheless, the reason of the volume surge tonight was that the Morgan Stanley analyst, Adam Jonas, he has raised his bull case on Tesla to $500 from $440, but he's maintained an equal weight rating uh, on the stock. So, uh, again, he's now saying that he thinks it's worth $500. So, hey, listen, that just creates hype in the market. So, um, you know, again, we'll see how the market responds tomorrow because, you know, after hours here on Tesla, if you take a look at the actual stock here, let me just pull it up. Um, you know, it, it's trading here at 332.49. So Stag. what can it do tomorrow morning? Urge. We will wait and see. Um, you know, this could pop or it could just stay the same. So we had a little pop when that news okay, came out. TA. But uh, we'll see if there's going to be any more upgrades tomorrow. So, Jim, let's hear about Tesla. Yeah, Jim... Um... Back NTLA. when this was an IPO at 50 bucks or a little under, excuse me for a second, I said this stock would run up to 300 and we hit the $300 AXSM. mark, and then we got that new upgrade today to 500 and I'm going to be compelled to say I agree with it. <clears throat> I agree with it 100%. I had a target for 2020 at the end of 2020 for 600 that I mentioned three years ago, so... I'm, I'm going to go ahead and agree with that 500. Now, this is going to be pulled back to a good support area ETRN. on this trade right now. And that's, I got two of them actually. So I've built a channel today that we're going to look at. And then we got to break this channel coming up next week. Even tomorrow, we might get a little bump out of this trade. It could run up. So we're going to pull up the 20 day, one hour. I've got a channel right in here between 228.03 for a solid, strong buy. If it does decide to pull back, I jump in it there. GWRE. And then we got a resistance that we got to break here at 337.08. And it can go up a little bit higher. There's a 338.54 on there too. And I'm going to go ahead and jot that in there also. But JNC. we can bring this back up to 360. I no. think it's going to be a little time before it gets up CGNX. to 500, though, sometime next year, maybe. It's not going to be. OTLK. You know, at LYFT. A spread all the way up there. Fizz. It's going to have its ups and downs. Like Academic. we've seen with that uh, rollout with the Cybertruck, oh. <clears throat> that didn't last too good. So the resistance that we're going to have to break is going to be that 337.08. And if we can do that, break out of that channel and get back up into this old channel up in here, that'll be between 338 and around 350 with a gift handed to you above that 350 area. You see 360 on a triple top. I don't think it's going to break that, but I'd take some profit on this trade. I think we're going to be in solid EVH. 300s for at least a couple more months. And that's going to be Tesla. And that's it for the aftermarket report. Let me run this by you one more time. Stag. Solid buy at 328.03. Resistance to break at 337.08. And then we got to try to drive it up to Halo. 350, to 349.75. And actually, it could be a little bit CTSH. less right in here at the 347.36. So let's put that into a red line. HHR. Make that a red line, and I'm going to build the width on that one. Very. Keep that in mind. AXSM. That's going to be our little channel. We got the support. We have the pivot point that wants to break, and then the resistance right up in here around the 345 to 34736. Anything above it's going to be a gift. And that's it for the aftermarket report, Miss Vegas. Also, yeah, I just want to make one comment. Yeah. Um, VVR. You know, it's kind of today in the market was kind of like. A little dull at one point. I mean, there's a lot of action going on here and there, but you know, not the you know excitement that we were seeing at one time. 
uh, back in, you know, back in November. Um, but I do want to mention that tomorrow morning we have the big jobs report. AXSM. And I really believe that if it's a really good number, um, we might be able to see a little Santa rally. Because if you guys remember, we had the jobs number back in November and the jobs data was actually really good. And it actually sent the market higher for the entire month. So we'll have to see tomorrow morning. Uh, I think it could be exciting. Could have a little Santa rally for the rest of the month. So again, we'll have, hopefully have some really good job numbers. Uh, that report comes out tomorrow morning at 8.30. So stay tuned in the morning to hear that jobs number. And uh, even if you don't the market, PPG. you know, try to listen to the squawk box in the morning uh, and get that jobs number information so that you know what's hap market sentiment and uh, help you prepare for the day. So hopefully those numbers will be looking really pretty tomorrow. All right. Well, on our website here, we have a little Twitter link. Fizz. You can hit that. Follow us on Twitter. We'd appreciate that. We have 842 followers now. EVH. We just keep moving up and up and up with our followers. VGR. Also on our website, we have different links. Where's it at? There it is. You can hit our stock twits links. There's mine. Vegas is on here too. You can hit that. XLI. Follow us on there. M. And we post alerts in there. We also have Pinterest and we have YouTube channel here. Please subscribe and ring that bell for future updates. This is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim. Our next report will come out on EVH. Sunday. And it'll be a little bit more lengthier report of stocks that we're going to be watching all week long. These are stocks that we're just following the trend right now that we do on the weekdays. But the week end report is something that you must watch. Peg. And write these numbers down that we give you. And those are the stocks that we're going to be watching all week long. And we're hitting pretty good averages on them. Eventually, they'll bounce up to break our resistance levels. So this is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim. Uh, today's date, December 5th, 2019, and we love stocks.